Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio after seven days away from painting, and that's the longest it's been in five years, at least. So this is a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. I have, you can't tell, but I have put a layer of white paint on there so that if I have white paint showing through in the background that it's not a problem. And I'm going to use the little tiny bit of Amsterdam and Floetrol that I have mixed up as a pillow underneath some colors and I think I'm going to go one section at a time and I'm going to use some of the color art, new color that I like at the moment is Water Lily Ultra Metallic, it's a prism pour And it was open a minute ago, so it'll open again in a minute. I'm going to try and color block, picking favorites. This is Saffron, another prism pour. This is Intense, Vivid Intense Quinacridone Red. This is Fluorescent Pink, another Vivid Intense. I've got some Orange Crush, which is a Prism Pour. And some Sour Lemon with Orange Crush in it. Then I'm going to use some Amsterdam White in Australian Floetrol and is that the right size palette knife? Can I get away with it? I don't think I really mind adding some uh, some allowing some color on the edge. I do remember when I was working last week that I was doing half black and half white and I think I want to try that again. It helps if I open the bottle first though. I also like it with gold, but I'm not ready yet. I'm trying to go slow enough to push the paint I've got toward the edge. looks like I have something in my paint that needs to come out. And so it is gone. I think what I want to do is let this slide its way down a little bit and maybe spread out some too. The black is not performing as it did last week. That's okay. I think once I spread it out, it will pop some more cells. I just continue to let that flow down. With a little help from, yes, I have a straw. And maybe I'll flip that around. I might want a larger spatula. Oh, my paint rags are very, very stiff from being away from water for a week. I think I might need new ones. All right, so where was I? I was using. Amsterdam white. I think I should learn to not start quite so wide. That seems to be a lump of something at the entrance to my paint bottle. Come here thing. Yes, come out. Hopefully I have enough left to go on. This is frostbite. Or it was when it was open. <laughs> This 
is Royal Sapphire. These are both present pores and I'm going to use Indigo Violet, another one in a second. I've got some Periwinkle, which is a Vivid Intense. seems to have a bone to pick with me. Something's caught in the tip. I think I'm going to give it some, some of everything. Um, <laughs> here's the Vivid Intense Red Violet. Let's try some of the Water Lily, which is the Ultra, Ultra Metallic. What else do I want in there? I kind of want some blue. I didn't have any. I've got Vivid Intense Viola Blue. Which I love. Do I want some of this Bally High? I think I do. That is one gorgeous color. It's like a deep Royal Sapphire. So I'm going to use the next size up spatula, maybe the size after that in fact. And I'm going to go half black, half white, actually more like, we'll see, a third. And we'll change it up all over the place. I really want some gold and I've got some Probably a bad time to want it when the lid is back on. This is a Pebio, excuse me, this is an Atelier Rich Gold with Australian Floetrol. scrape that off right there. I'm not sure you can see that, but I'm just scraping off my spatula. So when I wipe it off, there isn't quite so much on my paint rag, which is still not cooperating very well. I'm going to let all of that flow down. I wanted to put a black outline with a white in between, so we'll see how that works. I'm not sure it's going to go anywhere I want it to, but I think it's going to go as far as I need it to. If I'm persistent. To the corner would be nice. Will help. There's a little it's some waiting involved in this. I might want to use my straw. Put that paint that went down over the edge, down over the edge. Not sure what's going to happen with my edges yet. I'm going to take that paint out of the way. I kind of want to let it go the other direction. I'm just not sure it will. 
I might be more sh trying to keep my fingerprints off things. I might be more interested in trying to add a little bit of the mead and black. Let it flow down that way first. And then back down again. I'm not sure. well I can fill in that corner but I might give it a shot. I think it's going to be faster with my finger than messing around with it any other way. That way I can black my edge also. I'm being called to some Tuscan Sun even though I don't have any yet. I think that's what's going to happen next. I'm afraid I might run out of time because I'm enjoying myself and going kind of slow. I want to go up from here and over. I'm going to try and control my impulse to uh, put a wide swath down at the beginning. Here's my Tuscan Sun and fortunately it doesn't have any distilled water in it so it behaved quite nicely. I have Isidora, which is a primary element. The Tuscan Sun is a prison pour. I'm going to use some more sour lemon with orange crush in it. And probably indulge myself in a little bit of saffron. I can. And I'm feeling the alizarin rose, which is the vivid intense. As long as I can get the tab off the top, we should be all set. I hope I'm right about this. The question is, did I get enough paint off my spatula? Yes, I think so. I'm tempted to use just the white, but I'm going to use the black in between just because. And continue on my. I like how the gold looked on the other side, on that far end. scraping off my extra paint. I don't see very much of that yellow, but maybe it's coming. Definitely time for new rags. Uh, what do I want? I want more Tuscan Sun is what I want. go down. Oh, I got some stuff moving in the middle. Not the, not the top so much. A little bit. Use what came to finger, came to hand. I'm not sure that's my favorite. I'm thinking purple at the bottom, and then I don't know about the in-betweens yet, but I ought to check my time. Yeah, I'm going to run out of time, so this is going to have to be a part two. 
going to take my spatula. That's a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. You can find those on my Amazon link. Share the love. I think a little saffron there is going to make me happy too. Come on, dribble, stop. Oh well, in for penny, in for pound, I guess. I'll get that right now. Well, I think I'm just going to shut my camera off and come right back because I'm interested in continuing. All right, I'll see you in a second. Hopefully we're focused on something. I've got maybe just enough paint. And I still have a little, I have some dregs in the bottom, so it's not beyond the realm of possibility we could still make this work out. Prison poor parrot wing. I haven't tried any of that, and I want some right now. Spread out my bottom layer a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Parrot wing. Indigo violet. Never thought about dripping it into position in advance of the swipe, but that seems like a good idea to me. That's the royal sapphire. I want some of the periwinkle. even though it seems to be a little bound up. And I'm being called to... Well, I'm being called to Blue Velvet, so I'm going to have to dig that up. But this is Frostbite, just to help things move along. Is it... Maybe a little bit of uh, Cerulean Blue, too. Although, it's probably important to shake that up. Where's my blue velvet? Ooh, that's well and truly plugged up. Can I get it out? Yes! Wow, that was fortunate. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. All right, where's my spatula? I think this is the one, and hopefully I can just push that right around. Is that a thing in there? Because if it is, it needs to go. Well, it helps if there's no cat hairs on the end of my tweezers. I could start like that. Bring it over. I'm going to put some black next to it. All right, so far so good. I don't think we're done by a long shot. 
really didn't use any of Amper's gold. And I definitely need a much smaller spatula or to do the rest of it tomorrow. That's the red violet. I think I'd like a bunch of that, actually. Anywhere where I have imperfections is the perfect place to put it. I still want to do that black outline that I was talking about, and I could, but I only have four areas and I want a fifth one, and I think it can be in here. So maybe I'll just use the smaller spatula. And less Amsterdam. I think it's definitely time for the red violet to shine. A little bit of the fluorescent pink. One of my all time favorites, where did the alizarin rose go? Is that it? Yes, that's it. Let's go ahead and use some of the Emperor's Gold just to see how it works. And I am so not done with the indigo violet. I think I'm not done yet. Saffron. Okay, so I'm thinking the smallest spatula again. And maybe split the difference. And maybe black is the next. all of that paint off there and I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to get it. And I'm not seeing any cells in the black which is really disconcerting. But I'm not one to stop and take what I'm given. I'm going to try and manipulate it. So, throw that spatula in the bucket. Clean this one off. Have a look at what I've done. I can't put black in there. Where is my black? It's been a long time since I tried to do this. But I've been thinking about it for a couple days and I want to. There's a painting in my house. Slash gallery. Come on bottles. Don't be a problem.
there's GAC 800 in this. I see that that did not proceed exactly as I had planned. But I'm inclined to think I can still make it work. Except for that. That's a problem. Helps to have handy rags. And having pre-primed the canvas, it's a lot safer to think you can wipe things off. Whoops, I got a tag on my paint bottle. I'm still not 100% sure that I don't want to do something in there. Not sure about that center section. Maybe I wasn't, maybe I jumped the gun. Because I really want something here. I'm so close. What's left? Just a little bit here, which you really don't need a lot there. Helps if I don't drag the bottle through the painting. I've got Q-tips and I need one. A little water. I don't know about that spot. <laughs> and I have one more area I want to cover. Some of that may fill in. But that got pretty much as close to the desired effect as I was expecting. I could go through and, and take a risk and blow on some of that and see if I could make it look more organic. which might actually fill in a lot of things that also. There, I'm not minding that. That's actually pretty cool. I know I'll lose some white negative space, but I like the, the contrast. Don't stick the straw in the painting, woman.
I need a dry straw now. I'm liking it and I don't think I need to work on that negative space anymore. One more section and I am thinking that I'm probably done. I might want to black my edges considering. I had a little escape. I wonder if I can pick those up. Oh, I got it. I put a little bit of moisture on the Q-tip. And that, as they say, is that. That's rather dramatic. I don't know. I said I was done. I wasn't concerned with that spot. Maybe I'll figure out if I want to do something to it tomorrow. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, if there are any. I'm not minding the colors. I didn't get as many cells as I was getting last week, but I still got plenty of cells. And I got to keep plenty of colors, which I like also. Got back to experimenting, which is what I really wanted to do. So badly. Got plenty of free flowing black paint to cover my edges if I wanted to. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos if you have a mind to. I'm not sure which way is best, but I think if it works more than one way, that is the sign of a good composition. And, uh, Obviously, I'm going to turn that around and try and keep it from spinning. I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to try and shimmer that at you. I would apologize for it taking so long, but it takes as long as it takes. And that, oh, my battery wants to die too. I think that was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like. Leave me a question if you'd like. My community board will show you t when tomorrow's video is. My Amazon link is on the link tree. My two books on the, on the Amazon link. And if you shop there, it's at no other cost to you. Also on the link tree, my Pinterest, my Instagram, my Twitter feed, a um, couple of websites, Le Gallerist Clothing, or Le Gallerist Clothing Made in Montreal, and they have some other things too. And uh, Society6, as well as Spring is under the video. Uh, Society6, yeah. Fine Art America, Pixels.com. You can have my artwork reproduced any one of those places if you just give me the item number, the hashtag number in the title. Uh, I do give lessons at the House in Spring of Florida. I do sell my artwork and I would like to. Uh, my paint pouring recipe will be below show more. When you share my videos, you help me out, so I really got to say I appreciate that. There's over 32 lists, playlists of 100 videos. 31 of, plus, <laughs> 31 of those lists have 100 videos on that you can watch. And if you like a topic or a genre like swipes or landscapes, just mention to me and I will give you a link or two. Swipes in that case. There's a couple links. Um, thank you for the donations through, pay, through PayPal. And uh, the link is under the video. There's a 20% off Color Art coupon code and a 10% off coupon code. 20% is off Color Art, and these are Color Art colors. And 10% is off Pixel Paint Designs, and that's for Pebio Paints, Boom Gel, and Australian Floatrol. And I uh, love you guys. I'm not remembering what I'm forgetting. My Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. Come and join us. Check out what's there. Show us what you got. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Whatever I forgot, you'll see in another video. <laughs>